As we get closer to Election Day, more people are flooding into the public meetings surrounding the proposed transit plan. News Channel 5's Kimberly Davis explains how some argue the plan may, may not be in everyone's best interest. The price of $9 billion or more is too high a price to pay for a plan that does not alleviate traffic congestion. It's a multi-billion dollar plan. Transit for Nashville supporters are hoping you vote yes to on Election Day. But a political action committee opposed to the proposed transit plan are hoping you say no. People in Nashville want traffic issues fixed, but not one cent of this money goes to fix roads, potholes, traffic congestions, or bottlenecks. Most of it goes for downtown trains that are already going to gentrified neighborhoods. Jeff Carr is with no tax for tracks. He argues the current transit plan not only does nothing to fix the congestion, it will also increase Nashville sales tax to 10.25%, making Nashville the highest sales tax of any major U.S. city. Walter Searcy with Transit for Nashville says the plan may not fix the congestion, but it will stop it from getting worse. As more options for transportation are brought online by the transit system, when people can ride a reliable, on-time, uh, more frequent conveyance, then they're going to do it. Supporters are hoping to have the referendum passed on May 1st. If not, they'll go back to the drawing board with a new plan that may take years to come to pass. Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5. Transit for Nashville supporters say voters will just be casting their ballot to fund transit and the plan could be adjusted. Early voting starts on April 11th. Election Day is on May 1st.